Bonjour, comment allez-vous aujourd'hui? And today, guys, we're gonna go over my secret weapon. My secret superpower for building my rigs and uh, basically coming up to speed and edumacating myself on this whole hardware world, this domain, even for uh, building crypto mining rigs and just building PCs in general. This is great knowledge to have. And uh, behind all this knowledge is great resources, finding the right resources and not wasting your time on bad resources, right? Uh, it's like they say, practice, practice, practice makes perfect. No, you have to practice the right way to make perfect. If you're practicing the wrong way, you're just gonna keep repeating bad habits. So what is this secret weapon? Well, let's bring out the cursor of truth. It's right here, the cursor of truth. It is the PC part picker site. It is a uh, PC part picker.com. And uh, what is this little thing? What pray tell is this voodoo that you do so well, right? So pick parts, build your PC, compare and share. Uh, they have forums tied to this. They have parts list compatibility. They may get a small commission off this stuff, but they keep it very unbiased and clean and honest. It's a great site. Uh, let's just read through it together. PC Part Picker provides computer parts selection, compatibility, pricing guidance for do-it-yourself, DIY for you uh, pros or you newbies, uh, DIY computer builders, assemble your virtual parts list with PC Part Picker and we'll provide compatibility guidance and up-to-date pricing from dozens, if not quad dozens, I don't know what the word is, of the most popular online on, on wine. I'm sounding like Baba Wawa. Online retailers. We make it easy to share your part list with others. Woo! And our community forums provide a great place to discuss ideas and solicit feedback. This is power, baby. Uh, no one really does learn in a vacuum. I am sorry. It's uh, We call it R&D sometimes if you're trying to come up with a new idea. R&D, not research and development. It's called rip off and duplicate. If someone's already done this, man, do not be ashamed to go out and say, hey, what did you do to build this rig? Where is it? Can I share? Can you share your? Uh, can you share your build out with me? And most people are like, "Hey, man, no problem." We, and then that person may learn something from you. Boom, boom, boom. You know, it is a multiple logs. Uh, what is it? Multiple logs burn brighter. A tide lifts all boats. Blah blah blah. It works. I mean, it, it really does. You got to share knowledge. I don't know anything, folks. I just can sit behind a stupid microphone and uh, point out the stuff I come across. I didn't create it. I just found it and I looked at it and said, okay, this looks good to me. And that's, I'm just sharing my knowledge. Oh my God. You can see it's broken out by uh, parts lists are broken out by filterable categories, blah, 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 that make sure you include all the necessary components. Uh, you get the point. Let's go over to a builder. Let's, let's play around here. Uh, before we get to the builder, ah, you got your CPUs, your CPU coolers, your motherboards, your memory. Their cases, power supplies, video card, and storage, everything, baby, everything you need. I don't really get cases, but if you can get components cheap and you want to build components, computer systems for people, boom, why not? I don't know if there's much money into it because uh, you're going to be fighting with the online retailers and, you know, New Egg crap and uh, Emma, Emma McZahn and all those people. Uh, eBay, yeah, I don't know. But you never know until you try, but the goal is to make money, not just freaking build stuff and lose money. Uh, let's see, there's guides as well, if it loads. Look, they even give you guides for building an Intel, an AMD gaming build. Strength guide, it could not be more easier. Uh, you will still learn a little bit. You have to learn. You just can't blindly plug and play. Try to pick up what they're doing here. Why are the AMD Ryzen CPUs better for uh, certain things than the Intels? There is a difference. Uh, I forgot it. <laughs> but I remember reading there is a powerful difference which is why the AMD CPUs are used for mining because they just have uh, something internal with their algorithms and that their processors work better for crypto mining. All right, Intel gaming build, gaming, gaming, gaming. I get gaming, but if, if I go back to uh, baby crypto Jimmy, I would say don't waste, your time don't waste your time playing games so much. What a waste of time. Time suck. I could have been improving my, uh, my uh, skills, my knowledge on investing, my knowledge on tech. Uh, worked on my network. You know, your net worth is your network and your network is your net worth, right? The people you know help you get work, help you get ideas, help build your uh, wealth. That is gold. Sitting in front of a computer playing games, eh, I don't know. Maybe to release stress for 20 minutes, but 
people sit there all day. Hindsight, I would not do it again. All right, Ma, let's see, Ma, let's AMD. Nothing for uh, crypto, but you get the gist. You get the basics right here. So you can see the price build out as well. Comments, a lot of information here. Now for trending, this gives you the price trending. What have CPUs been up to on the trending? Back in the um, heyday of crypto mining, GPU mining, oh my God, the price trendings were going through the roof. Scalpers, but again, are scalpers really that bad? Because demand supply is the way it is, the name of the game. Oh, what do we got? Ryzen 3 right here, Zen 4. You can see how to interpret the lines. The uh, thick black lines represent the average price for parts in a given category. So you can see it's going down for that. Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, Ryzen 9s, Ryzen 5Z and Zen 3. Let's see, AM3. You can see the pricing going down. Ryzen 5s just came out, so they shot up here. Ryzen 7s, Ryzen 9s. You can see they, they've been holding steady. It's like a news report. Look at the price of holding steady. Yeah, Core, uh, Core i9, Core i5. You get it, go look for yourself. I'm just pointing out this resource. This is a uh, site you could spend hours and hours on to learn how to build a rig. Watching some guy on YouTube is all right, but uh, this is how you arm yourself with knowledge, not just being handed a fish, but you know, being taught how to fish, right? That's the secret. All right, we did products, we did guides, we did completed builds, we did trends. All right, let's go to the builder. This is where you can start playing. Say you're like, I, uh, say you're biased towards a certain CPU. You can just go, hey, uh, let's start with motherboard. You usually start with the motherboard, right? Boom, C choose a motherboard. Let's go MSI B550 Gaming Gen 3. Uh, you know what? Let, what do I got? I always forget what I have. This is uh, X570, MSI X570. You can go over here. MSI X570. And what if I hit return? X570, okay. Which one do I have? I have a Gaming Plus. This is one I got. So this one shows you there's uh, the socket AM4, the form factor ATX4, basically how to, you know, when you're buying a case, you want to know the form factor. So the um, mount, uh, what do you call my God? The mounting holes on the motherboard match up to the uh, mounting uh, holes on the. Um, case stuff like that memory max 128 gig memory slots channels are four color black and red who cares uh rating uh 31 oh they don't love my board gaming edge wi-fi well pro tip for any crypto mining rig gpu or cpu you don't really want wi-fi you want to have that cat that cat cable plugged right into the ethernet port for a uh, max performance baby max performance all right, what are we gonna do now? Let's click on it. And then you can see the breakdown here, the price history. Come on, big boy, there is no price history for this time period. Why, what's the time period? All right, they don't have price history on this one. You can set up email alerts on any price drops. These guys are out there monitoring this hardware for you. They're probably going out to Newegg and all these sites and pinging them to see what's going on. Uh, bought this board for future upgrade on latest CPU reliable. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good motherboard, come on. So it goes through again. Here's the here's the here's the breakout we just read. DDR4 memory, four slots. Here's the speeds. This is gold because you want to know what speeds to get on the memory. You want to make sure you don't get DDR3. You want to get DDR4 and what speeds you want to get. You can go up to 4400 big daddies. I think I got 3200s on some and 2400s on some. Again, my hardware purchases have evolved over uh, the last two years mainly and over a period of a year and a half. <clears throat> there we go. Everything you needed to know without having the manual and better. Uh, onboard video, yeah, it depends on CPU. This is called, a lot of the uh, older AMD Ryzen's don't have integrated graphics, meaning you have to have a GPU on board to see the boot up display, the BIOS boot up. Intel's most have in integrated graphics, so you can just plug in an HDMI cable into the motherboard and you'll see the boot up screen. You won't need a graphics card. The newer AMD CPUs, I do believe, have integrated graphics. Look for that. It's worth it to get integrated graphics, in my opinion, because uh, I remote in, and if every time I remote in, I gotta I gotta run a little custom script to reset the video display adapters and make the screen look readable. Otherwise, it's like a four by four pixel screen. It's horrible. But uh, yeah, 
So look for integrated graphics. Pro tip number million. All right, here we go. What are we doing now? Let's go up here. And I'm going to add this one. I want this motherboard. Boom. Look at that. So it's added to the thing. So now you already, you already know the compatibility. You know you can do a DDR4. Go to memory. Let's choose some. Uh, let's choose memory. I'll just do a little bit of this. So you guys get the gist of it. So you know you wanted DDR4. I want to see if I can select. I'm going from this motherboard. Oh, add from filter. Hold on a sec. It's been a while since I've done that. All right, bye, 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 motherboard, motherboard. Can I go over here? And I got this right here. And are these, oh, these aren't clickable. I thought maybe the memories would be uh, linked to make uh, less, uh, less browsing. All right, oh, you got more pictures, look. Look at this, we got more memories, you got the reviews. Uh, bought this board for future upgrade, we already saw that one. Good motherboard, but sometimes MSI has a glitchy BIOS. Eh, not really. It's fine. Go back to Builder. All right, let's choose memory. DDR4, let's do a DDR4. I like G-Skill. I don't know why. Doesn't matter. It'll tell you the reviews here. So you can go in, and let's just do uh, DDR4, add from filter. Oh, I messed that up. Let's go back. Why did it add from filter? Well, there's DDR4 2400. So let's go back in memory. Look how cheap it was, 1589. I didn't want to add it. I just wanted to search. So hit return. So here at G scale, ages four gigabyte. I think I have these. Let's see. One four gigabyte stick, 2400. You can go up to 3200. Uh, yeah, get whatever you want. You get whatever you want to afford. Let's see. We got 3200, 3600. See the price right here goes up per gigabyte. Ooh, three. 16 gigabyte sticks. Well, it's a beast. Kingston Fury Beast. DDR4 3200. Uh, you can do by reviews too. Let's see. Let's do rating. Ah, do the highest rating top. I don't know why it did that. Oh, it's got the stars. Okay. It likes the G Skill Trident. That one. This one's got a lot of good reviews. Yeah, 16 gigabyte sticks. Two eight gigabytes, DDR4 3600. Boom. I can say, hey, I want to add this guy. Let's add that memory. We go back over here. I don't want the um I don't want this one. And actually tells you the store. See, there's New Egg. I'm not a big fan of New Egg, but oh well. They are they they serve a purpose. Amazon makes it so much easier to return stuff. You may pay a couple bucks more on Amazon because merchants have to rise, rise, raise their prices to be able to sell on the Amazon monopoly. And they take a lot away from the sellers, man. I don't know how people make any money. So you can do this. You can add the memory. You can see this price. I'm going to click on the price once. Oh, we're going to New Egg. So it'll take you over to New Egg. There you go. Bam. You know, they'll probably get a commission on this. Who cares? They're making your job easy. So here is a DDR4, 3600 memory, 40, not, not overly expensive. Then if you really go, eh, I really wanted more memory, Crypto Jim. Mr. Jim, I wanted crypto. I don't know what I'm saying. You wanted, you wanted a different selection. You can get uh, two eight gigabytes, four, whatever. Pick your poison, uh, 32 gigabytes. Pick whatever you want. Uh, go with that. I mean, it gets you there, gets you on the landing page, gives you the price point. 30 day hassle free returns. I don't know. Maybe try it once. You gotta, that's why I like Amazon. They'll just take it back. Even if it's a GPU, it takes longer to get your refund because there's always scammers out there trying to scam the Amazon. So they want to be cautious as well for a big ticket item like a GPU. All right, choose your parts. You can do a video card. You can do um, CPU. Choose a CPU. Let's do a 3900. Boom. Here's what I got. What do they cost right now? Wow they're, wow, they're still hovering about the same price. That is amazing. So let's add it. Let's click on it. Ah, let's add it first. I want one of them 3,900Xers. And I'm going to go, oh, it's on Amazon. Ooh, let's go look at the price. You can click on Amazon. You can click on the price. Let's hope it is good. 
There you go. 445. That is still amazingly expensive. You know? But there you go. But easy returns, right? I know it's going to be tough, but they'll take it in stock too. 440. Wow, that's a lot of money. Oh, well, I thought they'd be being a Ryzen 9 third gen processor. I thought they'd be down in 200s by now. See, I last purchased it 2021, Big Daddies. Woo! That's a long time ago. Wow. Time's ticking away. All right, let's get out of here. Go back to parts. Uh, and as always, keep going. You can do your storage. What I do is I just get, oh, what are those things called? Kingston? Oh, it's the, is it the NV2? The format, it's the sticks. I'm just going to bring one up here. Two terabytes. Yeah, this is what I recommend, man. Do not get the um, SATA cable drive. Two reasons. It hangs off your rig. It's in two extra cables. One cable is the power from your power supply. The other cable is plugging into your motherboard. Uh, this thing, boom, this pops right into a slot next to your PCI slots. And I showed it in one of my older videos. It just lays, slot, lays flat, plugs right in. You uh, can get a little adapter. And I just basically uh, install Windows on this thing. It's an SDD. And then in your BIOS, you say boot from the SDD. And I put in, I think I, when I build the boot record, I do GPT or UEFI. I can't remember. I do one, I, or, or is it both? I can't remember. I select that one instead of the old MBR thing. Uh, make the master boot record. Yeah, those things, what I just said. <laughs> and this is awesome because then you get a nice, super clean rig, a nice, super clean motherboard, nothing hanging off it. The only cables really coming out of it are the damn power supply cables. Everything else is attached to the motherboard, your CPU, obviously, your memory sticks. And this is just like a memory stick, but laying flat, going into that slot. And uh, what do they call that? Memory. B and H, part number, capacity, type, SSD, cache, two gigs, form factor, M2. It's an M2 slot, 2280. M2, yeah, nice. I, I'm recommending these 100%. I don't even think they're that much more expensive of anything. This is a lot. This is two terabytes. So out of stock, 159. Yeah, try to get these. They're popular. They're out of stock. All right, let's go back. Let's add one. I want to buy it. How do I add it? Did I just forget? Oh, here, add. I want one. See, see what's going on here, guys? I am building a system. And if you don't want to go through any of this, like I said, you can go back to the forums. You can go back to the completed builds and knock yourselves out. Oh, prices by merchant. My God, there's so much stuff in here. This is gold, man. What a great way to build an affiliate site. I'm sure he has affiliate links on here. Beautiful. Kudos to this guy. Again, R&D, if you like what he's doing, you can rip off and duplicate, make your own site with links to products. He's probably using APIs to talk to Newegg, Amazon, uh, B&H, Best Buy. Somehow he's using an API or he's just scraping, which is fine. Who cares? It's public domain. You know, you can go in there and grab it. Samsung, Adorama memory. Again, go by the reviews. Uh, you can't go wrong with most of this crap. Uh, it's all pretty decent. The only stuff you don't want to cheap out on is power supply and power cables because you want those to be very good and not burn your house down. So there's a pro tip there. Uh, what else have we got going on? Just trying to keep it real, provide what I've used in the past. And I just pulled this out of my butt today because I realized, what did I do to build these rigs? How did I become super smart? And I'm not super smart, I'm joking. But uh, how did I figure this all this crap out? Uh, too many YouTube videos out there will drive you nuts. So I just went right to the source and said, I want to build this. How in the heck? Do I know which memory goes with, with, with which motherboard with, uh, based on the CPU as well? And per motherboard, you know, what in the heck do I need? Uh, what CPUs are compatible with it? And it tells you all this stuff right there. Like, okay, so this, is, this was key for me. I was an idiot when I started this. And uh, you go through, and that's the form factor, the socket, CPU, AM4. Okay, that helps you. Now I need to go look at all the AM4 sockets. That fit that motherboard, blah, blah, blah. And what's funny, when I, when I started to build my, um, I'm talking about ASRock right here, I built my one rig. I said, oh my God, I got this old gaming uh, PC, powerful at the time, 2014 I built, and uh, had an ASRock motherboard on it. 2014, so 2013 parts maybe. 
two, mer two, uh, two sticks of memory and a little uh, Intel processor on it. My God, that thing I tethered off the PCIe slots. I uh, tethered six GPUs off that thing onto, you know, they're hanging off a rack with the separate power supply. But the motherboard was beautiful. The ASRock, I didn't have to go into BIOS. I didn't have to hear the BIOS. The BIOS was as is from 2014. And it recognized all the GPUs right from the start. Boom, flash, for, flash forward 2020, whatever it is. The MSI boards only would recognize one to three of the GPUs. I had to go into the BIOS, go through all the settings, tweak, 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 do all this crap and uh, reset the BIOS because I would screw it up. You know, clear the CMOS, all that stuff you learn. It's, it's good learning experience, trial and error. But uh, the point being, it took a lot more work to get the GPUs recognized on a newer motherboard than an older 2014 ASRock. So bam, power to ASRocks, you know, good, good brand. Made my life simple. That little, that little thing, that gaming PC, is lasting. I mean, I ripped the GPUs out of it, but it runs. It's great. Uh, that's what I say. If you know have wait, if you have any inclination, any ability, build your own gaming PC, build your own rigs. You know, the, the next step I haven't done, but I priced them out, are the let's go back to the builder. Oh my god, where is it? Storage? No. Monitor. Cases. So cases, stuff like that. Cases are different. You know, here is case. Then you want to get the fans. You want to make sure you're getting the airflow through it in one part with a filter to grab all the lint, the lint and dust bunnies and then egress out multiple spots, making sure airflow goes over all the components to keep it uh, cool. And it's always cool to have a uh, clear case on the side, one side clear. So you can see the fancy little LEDs and see if there's anything going on in there. You need to look at, look, there's an airflow. Just speaking of. Speaking of that, let's see, can I get a bigger picture? Uh, oh, that's got a lot of ratings. This is a good one, guys. So you can see it's an ATX mid tower. Mid towers are perfect. Uh, ATX is the uh, bolt pattern, the pattern to match your motherboard. Uh, let's see. Yeah, look at that. I like this. I like this style. Simple, see through on the one side, lots of grates and vents for airflow. And oh, 89 bucks at Best Buy. I hate Best Buy because they're just, just a weird company. New egg is in there, B and H Amazon. I don't know why it costs so much at Amazon. Oh, I know. Again, I said sellers have to jack their prices up on Amazon just to make any money because the high fees to sell on Amazon. Corsair, is it a Corsair? Yeah, Corsair. I like that actually is the case I have on that 2014 rig I just mentioned. Solid. I love it. Big Daddy has the clear case on the side. I might. I got I got this one rig. I might start putting some of my CPU rigs in cases and then I could just sell them, you know, and then maximize my return on investment. I put into all this hardware once I'm done, because I don't know how long I'll keep doing this CPU mining stuff. But in the end, you can always repurpose it, sell it for some bucks uh, on, I hate to do eBay. Oh my God. Maybe I'll do local because eBay will rate me on, a, oh, we'll take well, grape, grapes, fruit, grape. I can't use that word. Well, I'll take all my money uh, through fees. And you see my story on eBay, man, how their security and safety division, seven of the guys got felony charges for harassing uh, a user of eBay and someone that was just writing a newsletter on you know, concerns of eBay for sellers. And they went after him. And the, the DOJ got him. They busted him. E, uh, eBay rolled over and they, uh, they said, yeah, OK. And they had to pay $13 million penalty or a whatever decision to the couple. Yeah, go eBay. Yay. The best and brightest work at these tech companies, man. Wrong. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. Why do you think they don't have customer support phone numbers? They don't want to talk to anybody. Yeah, they don't care. All right. That is another rant for another time. But here we go, guys. I have just given you my secret sauce, my secret power. I'm sure most of you have already known about this. But look, I've almost built a whole system. And if you're really worried about price, don't nickel and dime yourself to death. Get what you want. You know, if you're trying to cheap out and, oh, I'm just going to get one memory stick. No, just get the two. Do it right. Do it once. Uh, get the right power supply. You can gauge how much watts, how many watts each of these components are going to use and get your power supply. But for a normal one, you want to get at least 750 gold rated, you know, and you'll be good to go. You won't have to worry about anything. You won't have to worry about dirty electricity or any issues with it. I do have some bronze ones, which have been working fine as well. 
So, but if, yeah, you can go with bronze too, I'm just saying, but I choose now to go with the gold. So just, you know, EVGA, stuff like that. All right. I think that's all there is to it, Big Daddies. Go forth. Hope this helps. Uh, if you have any recommendation on other sites like this, yeah, feel free to add it in the comments below. And uh, oh, before we go, we got to do the old Bitcoin spot check. Bitcoin spot check, a little disappointing lately. Uh, the uh, ETFs, Bitcoin ETFs were a big bust. But uh, odds are that is always what happens initially with IPOs and new crap. They come out blistering, you know, rumor, 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 buying the rumor. Price goes up. Once they come out, new sell. You got to sell, 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 you know. But Bitcoin, oh, crap down again. Shoot. 41.6, I don't like that. We'll see what happens over time. It's very speculative, guys. It can go up. It can go down faster than it can go up. And it uh, can always go sideways. You can go nowhere at all. Bitcoin lives on. Bitcoin lives on. Bitcoin Ben lives on through me. <laughs> no, God, I'm sorry I said that. All right. Uh, what are we, Saturday? That's why nothing's happened. I hate the Tesla's already turking me off a bit. Uh, it's part of the Magnificent Seven stocks, but it's the only one that sucks. All the other ones like NVIDIA and that. Oh, don't remind me about NVIDIA. I sold too early. Um, what's that other crappy company? Fake, fake book. Apple, Microsoft are all doing well. Uh, Tesla is not which uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I think people are realizing EV is not the way. Cars aren't running well in electricity, in electricity, in uh, cold climates because you can't charge them. They freeze up. It just won't charge. It's bizarre. Then they're finding to go get a, if they want to go to one of the power stations, the EV, Tesla, what do they call them? And then you're in a line for like, I don't know, hours waiting to just charge, which takes 35 minutes. Do the math. And uh, it's just becoming, I don't know, not, not ready for prime time. I did have a Tesla Model S, model uh, number 5400 off the line. And uh, yeah, it was fun for a little bit. I just got bored with it. And I had some issues, which are, it didn't affect the driving of it. It's just all the accessories. You, had, you just replaced them, modular like on a jet. Boom, pull them out, slide in a new component. Very easy. Uh, under warranty, thank God. But yeah. Anyway, Tesla, that's another rant. That's all I got, guys. Gave you my secret sauce. Back to the subject at hand, PC Part Picker. Go check it out. It's PCPartPicker.com. And like I said, add below what you guys think, what you use, and uh, go forth. And yeah, have fun with this crap. Learn. People that can use their hands are going to be valuable. If you can build stuff with your hands, whether it's computers or other things, you're going to do well because uh, AI is going to replace a lot of the programming jobs. If you're a web programmer, you're done. Get out. You, you're probably already out of a job. If you're a graphics designer, you're out. AI is going to replace it. Language learner, like I showed in another video, ChatGPT voice is going to replace language teaching and all these products you buy for learn, trying to learn a language. Uh, it's beautiful. I mean, you pay 20 bucks if you want to get a better version of ChatGPT, which I did. It's worth it. Uh, yeah, lots of stuff out there, guys. So learn to use your hands, be a handyman, be a computer builder. Don't open a brick and mortar store. Dear God, no. I did that once. Don't. You're uh, tied into these leases and you're paying all your prof, all your money is going to the, pay the freaking lease. It's not worth it. Uh, try to run it out of your house if you can. A uh, home office or a shed or a garage. Yeah, if you want to go that route, but eh, you got you to gotta do a lot of thinking if that's a good route for you. So, yeah, let me know if you're going to build a rig. If you have any questions, uh, all the answers are here, guys. The circle of truth, the green circle of truth. This is all your knowledge. You know, always try to solve the problem yourself first. And if you are really stuck, Go to the forums or you can post in the comments below and maybe others will chime in. At work, I always hated the people that would just come without even trying to solve the problem. Oh, uh, Crypto Jim, how do you solve this algorithm to make this raster display green? Have you looked at it? Have you tried? Have you gone to the debugger? Have you gone to the sites, the forums, the uh, manuals? No. Uh, <laughs> and I just would turn around and say, uh, come back when you tried and I'll help you later. Yeah, those people are time sucks. And guess what? You'll get laid off and they keep their jobs. Yeah, that's another video too. Oh my God, I'm all full of videos. It's a tough world out there. Uh, I know, I'm amazed I made it this far. All right, I'm out. Enjoy your Saturday. Go out, feel some uh, snow or grass be, be, uh, beneath your feet. Uh, I am in 75 degrees right now, big daddies. No reason to live in the snow anymore. You don't have to when you can work remote. On that note, a bientôt.